Hey everybody and welcome to this, my first of three videos on the Canon EOS Digital Rebel XTI, also called the EOS 400D, the KISS Digital X, or the Universal DS126151. In this video, we're going to look at what everything on the camera is. In the second video, we'll look at what all of it does and how to take a picture with it. And in the third video, we're going to go through the menu system and the custom functions to talk about exactly how to set up this camera to shoot exactly the way you want it to and what all of those different things do. But first, this is an interchangeable lens digital SLR. Now what that means is the lenses can be taken off and a different one can be put back on at any time when you're not taking the photo without messing it up. The, single, the DSLR means that it's a digital camera, not film. Single lens reflex means that the light comes through the lens here hits a mirror inside of the camera, bounces up through more mirrors here and out the viewfinder. It has an APS-C CMOS 1.6x 10.1 megapixel sensor. Okay, so it's a CMOS digital sensor with a 1.6x crop factor. What that means is that this is a 50 millimeter lens, but, if, but the image that it projects onto this sensor would be equivalent to that of an 80 millimeter lens in full frame terms. And it has a 10.1 megapixel sensor. The frame rate is three frames per second with a buffer capable of holding 27 JPEG or 10 RAW files. The ISO range is 100 to 1600. Cannot record video. It has shutter speeds of 30 seconds to 1 4,000th. The viewfinder magnification on this is 0.8x with 95% frame coverage. Now what that means is that what you're going to see in here is 80% of the size of what's going to be on the sensor. And that if what you're looking at right now is what makes it to the sensor, then about 2.5% on each side in the top and bottom are going to be on the image sensor but not in the viewfinder. It has a fixed focusing screen that shows your autofocus points and the flash sync speed on this camera is one two hundredth of a second. This was targeted at the entry level user and we know that because it is a Rebel camera, a three digit camera, and a KISS camera. In North America, Rebel is the entry level uh, line. In other markets, three and four digit numbers are entry level and in Japan, the KISS uh, line is entry level. At the time of this camera's release, it was the base level entry grade DSLR from Canon. However, to, in today's market, there are actually three tiers of entry level camera beneath where the successors from this camera are located in the current lineup. It's very light because it is an, almost entirely made of plastic. And it has a fairly simple external interface, but many of the functions are accessible through the menu only. It was preceded by the Canon Digital Rebel XT, which was also called the 350D or the KISS Digital N. It was concurrent with the 30D, 40D, 5D, 1D Mark II N, 1D Mark III, 1DS Mark II, and 1DS Mark III. And it was followed by the Digital Rebel XSI, which was also called the 450D or the KISS Digital X2. So now as we do, let's go over this camera and all of the features on it and talk about what they are. In the second video, we'll talk about what they do and how to use them to take photos. On the tops here, we have the strap lugs. Here, this little symbol is your film, or sorry, is your digital sensor plane indicator, pop-up flash, hot shoe, this is your uh, mode dial index, mode dial, power switch, command wheel, uh, your on off, your power lamp right there, shutter release button right here. On the camera's front, we have your remote control infrared sensor, the autofocus assist light, lens mount, lens release button over here flash pop-up button right here, and then your camera information. Oh, and on the lens mount, we have two lens indices, red dot and white square. Red dot for EF lenses, white square for EFS lenses. On the camera's back, 
we have your display button, menu, jump, playback, delete, print order, LCD screen, a couple of eye sensors, viewfinder, diopter adjuster, uh, exposure compensation button, drive mode button, CF illumination lamp, white balance, ISO, metering mode and autofocus mode buttons, set button, asterisk, and autofocus point selection button right here. On this side, we have a CF port. This ca camera can take CF cards. And on this side, we have video out, remote control, and mini USB ports. This camera was made between 2006 and 2007, so the odds of, well, this will be a mini USB 1, a USB 1 port. The odds of this communicating with versions of Windows going forward are fairly slim. So if you're using one of these, your best bet for getting files to your computer is just to take your CF card and plug it into your computer directly. And um, you, can, you can do that. That'll work a little bit better than trying to transfer through the USB port. On the camera's bottom, we have the battery chamber right here for both the standard battery and the little button cell that powers the clock, serial number, registration information, and tripod socket. And in the second video, I'll show you how to change those. Some notes on the Canon EOS Digital Rebel XTI. Compared to the pre <clears throat> compared to the 350D, also called the XT, this adds two more megapixels, a larger buffer, a vibrating image sensor for dust reduction, and that was the first time, by the way, that any Canon DSLR had a vibrating sensor for dust reduction. A better autofocus system, the autofocus system in this is the same one as is used in the 30D. Better ergonomics on the grip, for sure. Also, a better covering on the grip. Uh, I see many more of these that have good coverings still. Most of the XTs that I see, the coverings have either peeled off or are in the process of turning to goo and need to be removed. It also has a larger CF card acceptance limit in terms of the number of uh, giga gigabytes on it. A bigger LCD screen, and it, just in general, compared to the XT, this is a nice upgrade from the XT. The XT is a fine camera, it's a good first camera. This is a nice step up from it, however. So if you're looking at the XT versus the XTI, and this one's not meaningfully more expensive, go with the XTI. So also, uh, this accepts both CF Type 2 cards and micro drives. I have never in my life seen a working micro drive. They haven't been made in a long time. So realistically, uh, if you're going to be getting one of these, don't bother trying to find a micro drive. They're also really slow compared to CF cards. Just get a CF card. Some things not to do with this camera. Don't touch the shutter and mirror. The shutters on these are pretty sensitive. Your finger oils can cause them to stop working properly. Uh, also, if you touch the mirror, your finger oils can desilver it or tarnish it, and that can cause your autofocus and uh, your metering to be thrown off. Don't leave your camera or lenses in your car. It looks just like a, car, a more expensive camera, so it's a good way to get that stolen. Also, heat and cold can cause the plastic in this to warp, which can be really damaging to your camera. Don't store your gear in a plastic bag or box because that can, uh, plastic is permeable and water can get through it and cause fungus to grow on your lenses. If you do keep it in a plastic bag, make sure to have a rechargeable desiccant pack, not the kind that comes with the, whatever coat you bought for this year, but a rechargeable one that comes in a metal container that can be popped into the oven to be recharged. And don't let your camera get wet. It's not weather sealed and water, if it gets into it, will short it and ruin it. And just remember that your Canon EOS Digital Rebel XTI is a precision tool and should be handled with care and respect. And as long as you take care of your camera, your camera will take care of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm on the right track producing content which is useful and helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. I'm pretty good about checking these every couple of days and answering questions. 
if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos. And if I have the technical know-how and equipment, I'm more than happy to make those. One last thing, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I gotta get up, Steinbeck. I have to turn off the camera.